Hello, this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Today we're going to talk about your first HMI and we're going to start it right now. Now the great thing about this is I'm going to show you how you can get the HMI software free, um, how you can easily build a, an HMI pro, uh, project. Um, we'll talk about the different platforms you can use it with and how you can use this and build this and put it into your project's portfolio and have a really great project um, that you can demonstrate and show to prospective employers and HR managers, right? So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, by the way, if that sounds really interesting to you and you'd like to learn more about automation and build your automation career, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell, as a matter of fact, that way you'll be notified every time we create a video. And if you have a question at the end of this video, Put it down in the uh, the comments down below and I'll answer as soon as I can get to it, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. This is uh, pretty cool stuff. So this was this here is inside the Seymour um, HMI platform, right? Software program. So the Seymour is um, a, a uh, software, uh, HMI software program. Uh, package that is put out by Automation Direct. At least that's where I uh, got my uh, first access to it. <laughs> and let me pull it up here. So Automation Direct. <clears throat> they have a great, um, really good website. I, I, I happen to, uh, for various projects, I end up buying uh, stuff from there. Some, some vendors like... Uh, to my uh, clients, excuse me, like to go with the least expensive uh, controls platform that they can get, and that generally leads me here. So, if you go to the Automation Direct and you look up uh, Seymour um, HMIs, you'll be able to find the software um, and get your get yourself uh, get your hands on a some of the software. Right. So let's look at the software products. And I must admit, it has been quite a while since I've went to look online for their their software. So, Seymour Micro and Windows Programming. So, um, used for the EA7, EA9. So, Windows Programming Software, CD, or free download for use with the Seymour EA9. So, this software right here is what we're going to take a look at. They do have a couple of others. I have the Micro. Uh, this, this one here is... Uh, Seymour Windows Programming, CD for use with the Seymour EA7. So, um, requires USB Ethernet. I believe this is the one that I, we're going to talk about today. So, the software. So, you can get a copy of it for 10 bucks. it looks like. Pretty pretty inexpensive. So, let's take a look at their specs. Make sure it's, this is the right one that I'm talking about. All right. <clears throat> Uh, apologize for the internet speed. Okay, so you can, we can see here that with a Seymour touch panel, an Ethernet network cable, or you can use a switch in there, or you can go USB or direct. And I've had to do it both ways in the past. Um, all right, so it does, it does describe um, how to set up your network connections, um, rather MicroLogic Slick. Control compact logics, right? Simultaneous communications and panel pass through. So it kind of lays out your network. And then it gets into the software. So powerful, free configuration software with legendary ease of use. This is really cool. This is what we're going to take a look at today. And I'm going to share a project I did some time ago uh, with you to give you an example of what's really possible. <clears throat> All right. So you can see by the graphics here. There's some really cool stuff that you can get into, and I'm I'm excited to share this with you. If you're if you're new to Seymour, to get a hold of this software, play around with it, build a project with it. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. If you're if you're new, if you're a beginner programmer, new to automation, you're still trying to build that portfolio. Trust me, get this this uh, software and build some projects with it. Here's why: it's a whole lot less expensive than the Rockwell. All right, or even some Siemens. Uh, the the hardware is very inexpensive as well. So if you're implementing something new for an employer, or you're looking for an opportunity, 
with your current employer to update something or integrate something new that's not very expensive, um, that's not very complicated, that gets up and running, Seymour is a great place to start. All right. All right. So um, I really like it for that reason. And it's got a lot of features. It really just does. Okay. So let's go ahead and get, get started. I'm going to open up a project. So we have the very first uh, panel here. So let's look at the, let's look at this. So really, I I have this this screen. There's another screen here. Boom. We have a couple of different uh, handful of screens that we that I built for um, a, a a client. We have a whole bunch of them here, right? So now, all right. So that's the simple part. But if we look at um, we go up, go up here to the object button, right? That's where we have a whole library of lines and rectangles and different types of push buttons and switches and radio buttons and indicators. So we have our indicators, numeric value, multi-state. We have all kinds of, of information here. Now, granted, this isn't as robust as, as a Rockwell or a WinCC, but this is a great entry-level uh, HMI programming software. This is a great first first uh, attempt at HMI building. So, um, and, and you can really develop this and play with it um, very simply. All right. Now, I will say there's one downside to this, and that is they do have a simulation. So you can simulate your your program here, but you cannot simulate it um, and connect it to your HMI or your PLC program and simulate it in that fashion. Um, you have to have the hardware. So you can simulate it inside the HMI package, right? Inside the software, but that's it. It won't, it won't connect to your uh, PLC software. At least it hasn't when I very last worked with it. I don't think that's changed, but there's still a lot you can do. And so long as you got the, the correct uh, tags, and addressing for your or, or addressing for your project, then it should work pretty pretty well for you uh, in the real world, right? When you do when you do integrate it into a project in the real world. So there's a lot you can do. Here, you know, here's our messaging and alarms, and this is this here is just a a um, it's an object. You can actually pull it out and and load it in and give it the right addressing and there you go. So let's look at, uh, let's go back to the first one here. So we're going to look at this. All right. So indicator button. All right. So I got a button and I have an indicator on it. So right here, uh, I can enter when it's off. This is the text I want it to read. When it's on, this is the text I want it to read. I can choose colors, font size, etc. Push button tag name. So right here, I can pull this up and I have all my tags loaded up right? All of them loaded. I just picked the tag I want to use. Okay. Very simple. Same here. Indicator light when the indicator. So this is my push button and this is my indicator. When I pull this up, I can pull the tag for my indicator light. So the feedback that something's happened on the inside, I can choose if it's momentary on or off, set on or off. I can toggle, use the toggle. I can choose the style rather um, square or round. So you have a lot of features here, right? I can simulate this as well. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. In a minute. But uh, in the meantime, this really gives you a lot of options here. A lot of good basic entry level uh, options. Here you can actually give it a uh, access to only um, managers or shift leaders or maintenance or supervisors. So you have that option as well. And then you can lock it as well. So as you can see, there's just a lot of options here. All right, so here we have a push button. So same thing, exact same thing. There's no indicator on it, it's just a push button, right? So option, password, boom, and there you go. So this this whole first screen is all about, um, so screen change, push button. So this one here helps us navigate. Run screen takes us to the run screen, right? So we can change, put a button in there that helps us navigate throughout the HMI. So we, we can, set up uh, screen navigation buttons, main menu, again, change screen change push button. So we have these down here. Uh, let's see what do we got here. I think we have, again, change screen change buttons. 
Uh, we have motor start button. So we got indicator lights. Oh, these are only indicator buttons. Oh, no, it's an indicator button. I stand corrected. So we're going to start the motor with a push button. We're going to have feedback when that motor is running. Very simple. And everything here is all the same that uh, I had already described, right? Okay, so in this screen, what do we got? We got indicator light. So the, when when we have any of these um, actions take place, we'll get an indicator feedback. So that's very helpful. Here we have a date, digital clock right there. So you can put a, a 24 hour clock on your screen. All right, and then we have a uh, screen change push button. So we can change what screen we're, we're looking at. All right, so we got a couple of other buttons. Now here, start of pressing position. So numeric entry, so we can enter in data here. Control, options, obviously password as well. For our password, hit that. Then we can configure it to, um, to have only access by uh, managers or supervisors. Again, here's our, our tags, our um, tag name database. We'll pull the, the tag we want out of it right there, and we're, we're good to go. We can even change our pop-up style for uh, keypad entry so and we'll, we'll show that when we do a little um uh simulation okay so uh same here same thing here we got some uh, some keypad entries we got some what do we got here numeric entries so you can see we we put quite the put together quite a decent little package here uh program excuse me for this project now you can do the same thing pick up pick a machine and that you think needs to be updated, go in there, get the software, build an entire project with all the screens as is that, that you think, right? If you can ask to get the tags from a controls engineer or somebody, the, the tags, and then load it in and you'll be ready. You, you'll have a completed project. All you need to do is the hardware and install it. And if you use an ethernet, Easy, very easily done. Now let's assume you don't have the tags, but you want to put this project in. You want to do this project and maybe put it in your portfolio. Talk to your employer. Say, hey, I have a project I could I, that I've done. I think it would be great to upgrade this this uh, HMI with, and I just want to show it to you and share with you what I, I've done. And then you can walk them through what it's going to take. Look, it'll take this much to get it this size screen. Um, if we, if it's internet, you can set this up and I can take the tags and download it, load it in here and address everything and we can simulate it and I can do a lot of testing offline when you're not running production and bam, you just created a great project that would be an awesome project for your portfolio, right? Your project's portfolio, very simple, very easy. And you got started by just taking some initiative to get to build an HMI, something you could show the employer. And if the employer looks at it and says, man, that's that would be great. That's fantastic. Now you got something there. And you're not waiting for somebody to come along and just give you something. You're going out there and taking the initiative, taking the bulls by the horn, building a project and take it and, and put it out there, letting your employer see what you're capable of doing. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about how to simulate this, right? So Let's go ahead and we're going to hit simulate. We're going to pick a screen size. I want a nice big one so um, you guys get a good grasp of what it is I'm talking about. Okay, so now this is my simulated screen, right? Okay, now I can put a bezel around it. Now that's what it would really look like in the real world, right? This, this particular HMI, which you've seen, I picked a particular model. That's the size that it would look similar anyhow. This is the bezel. That's what the outside would look like. Perfect. Now, okay, so now we went over to the RAM pressing speed select. This this project was for a vertical RAM uh, press, right? So I, I picked this here, uh, this screen, right? Okay, now what I want to do is come here and, oh, there's my, my key uh, keypad. So I can enter in my numbers, which I don't remember what it was uh, off the top of my head. So entry is too high, maximum one, maximum five. Entry. I don't remember what the password was off the top of my head. I could look uh, in the program, but um, I'd have to literally pull up the screen and find out what it was. But I don't remember. But it gives you an idea of what you can do on this in, in um, simulation. So as I move through these and I, I enter the, the different numbers and different different items, 
I'll get some feedback. Now that would be an inaccurate because it we really don't really is not hooked up to the PLC, so the the feedback's not accurate. Okay, but um, but this gives you an idea of what the um, uh, what it would look like in a finished product, right? Finished project that you could share with your employer, and that's really what I want to share with you is. This, this gives you a really good uh, example of what it's like um, to build and what, you, what you're capable of doing, I should say, for very low cost to build a project that you can put in your portfolio, showcase to an employer, maybe bring into the real world, get a little level up opportunity, and all it takes is a little bit of time, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of work, and you, you've you'll be able to build something you can be proud of and show an employer and say, hey, that old machine over there, that old press, I, I built a HMI project that I'd like to share with you. I think it'd be a good time. You know, I'll, I'll, don I'll have donated my time for that project right there. Um, maybe if you let me help uh, integrate the project or help with the project as it gets installed. But I've done the HMI work. If you want to show it, I can simulate it so you'll see exactly what it's like. Anyhow, I hope that this has been helpful for you. It's a very low cost entry level HMI program that I think every uh, beginning PLC programmer, every automation technician who's looking to build their career should have in their portfolio. So this is Paul with Logix Magazine. Again, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'd love to answer them. Subscribe, hit the bell. Let me know what you guys are thinking. All right. And if you got any ideas for future videos, put them down below. I'm always open to ideas. All right. So this is Paul. Until next time. Keep programming, my friends.